on justice. Just remember this. Trump is going to be no more Mr. Nice Guy. And down the stretch they come. When he talks about make America great again, but he doesn't make a single thing in America. The conventions in the rearview mirror. Hillary and the Donald hit the trail and remove the gloves with 100 days left before what will undoubtedly be a historic election. Plus, it was supposed to be the speech of her life. But did Hillary even hit the mark? Tonight, the opening statement that you've been waiting for. You'll get my take, and I want yours. What did you think of her speech? Uh, I barely could stay awake. Get ready, Hillary. Street justice is about to be served. I think she'd be better than Trump. Trump talk a lot of mess. Trump talk a lot of mess when Trump signs in front of a lot of checks. Justice starts now. Hello and welcome to Justice. I'm Judge Janine Pirro. Thanks for being with us tonight. The Democratic National Committee's convention in Philadelphia was about lovely ideas. It was about unity and inclusion and global humanity, concepts that were stronger together. Cue the birds and the butterflies and that law library love story of Hillary and Bull. Oh, sorry, Hillary and Bill. It sounded so sweet. They're all wonderful themes. But without addressing whether you can even believe a word that comes out of Hillary's mouth, that kumbaya stuff has absolutely nothing to do with being a leader. A leader is one who drives the economy, creates a strong national defense, and is painstakingly honest. So pull your heads out of the sand and snap out of it. A leader is someone who protects you, who sets the stage so you can make a living and feed your family. What does this kumbaya fest have to do with the crisis that is facing Americans today? And whether you like him or not, Donald Trump talks about real issues. Hillary says he paints a dark, divisive picture of an America in decline. But ask yourselves, are you better off? Do you feel safer than you were before these two got into power? Is America more united than it was? Are race relations better? Is police esteem anywhere near where it was eight years ago? It was during those Obama-Clinton years that 22 veterans a day committed suicide, not even able to make an appointment with a doctor. And whether you like him or not, Donald Trump is hitting the core issues, asking all the right questions, starting all the right conversations. A man who is willing to take on political correctness that is destroying this nation. Do illegal immigrants coming across our southern border include criminals? After 60 years, is NATO a, simply an organization in search of a mission? How do we stop ISIS and radical Islam in our homeland? But instead of giving him credit, we denounce him. So who are you going to believe? The one she sa who says she has the best of intentions and a heart of gold? Don't be so naive. Even a hard-boiled egg has a heart of gold. And the last night of the Democratic Convention was all theater, political theater. Even Hillary's video was Hollywood orchestrated by Chandra Rhimes, who ironically writes the TV hit scandal about a president having an affair in the White House. And while the theater of flag waving was going on inside the convention theater, the American flag was being burned outside as Mexican and Palestinian flags were being waved. Hillary, the consummate Washington insider, tells you that she will be your savior. In my first 100 days, we will work with both parties to pass the biggest investment in new good-paying jobs since World War II. Didn't Obama already do that? And I still haven't met one person who got one of those shovel-ready jobs. 
And then the next day, Hillary starts. I think that we've got to have more good jobs. We've got to raise wages. We've got to tackle inequality. We've got to make this economy work for everyone, not just those at the top. All good, except we can't believe a word of your promise. You said the same thing in 2000 when you ran for Senate from New York, promising 200,000 jobs to upstate New York, including farmers suffering from a defeated economy. Not only did you not deliver any of those 200,000 jobs, but New York suffered a net loss of 6,300 jobs. Hillary and the Make the Economy Work for not just those at the top? Aren't you the one at the top? You take your money, obscene amounts, from Wall Street. How did you go from being dead broke to being worth more than $200 million while in government? And how about that tax-free alleged 501c3 Clinton Family Foundation that's gotten more than $2 billion since you've been in office? That so-called charitable organization where it's estimated that 85% of expenses are for travel, meals, hotels, airfare for many ex-Clinton operatives, leaving 15% for charities. And I'm not even going to discuss the human rights hating countries that gave you that money and what they got in return from you. But since more than 60% of Americans don't believe a word that comes out of your mouth anyway, let's move on to someone else. General Allen, you gotta love that four-star kick-ass Marine drill sergeant barking at the convention. To our enemies, we will pursue you as only America can. You will fear us. And to ISIS and others, we will defeat you. We know that she as no other knows how to use all instruments of American power, not just the military, to keep us all safe and free. Say what? Did she lose those instruments when her ambassador and the men in Benghazi needed help? It was her use of American power as Secretary of State that started the disaster in Libya that culminated in Benghazi. It was while she was in charge of our foreign policy that the JV team ISIS barreled through Iraq and has since arrived on our homeland. It was under her leadership that the whole Middle East went into flames. General, were you even a part of the discussion that led to our early withdrawal from Iraq? Do you support the rules of engagement that tie our soldiers' hands behind their backs in Afghanistan? And while we're at it, you talk about our precious Muslims? Did you make one peep about our precious veterans dying, waiting to see a doctor at the Veterans Administration? Did you object to the sequester, the reduction of our armed forces? With all due respect, General, you belittle yourself. And how about the rest of the convention? I get that we're stronger together, but do you really think it's a good idea to showcase those who came here illegally at a national presidential convention and to showcase the mothers whose sons were killed in law enforcement confrontations, not the least of which was the mother of Michael Brown. Michael Brown was a thug who had just committed a strong-armed robbery and reached for a cop's gun. And during the hard-fought moment of silence for cops killed by African Americans because they were white, the chance of Black Lives Matter disrespected the silence at the Democratic Convention. Now, Hillary Clinton and her husband are fundamentally dishonest. And whether or not you buy the liars convention theme of stronger together, you still have to deal with the issues confronting America. So let's get rid of the birds chirping and the, the butterflies fluttering and the long white flowery skirt that Hillary wore. It's all political theater, folks, with lip service to themes of unity and oneness. Just to prove my point, the woman who jeopardized our national security with her private server had her emails hacked again. And for all you women out there who think that electing a female president will lift us all up, just ask yourselves if electing an African-American president lifted up the blacks in this country or made race relations better. 
It's time to face reality and the ugly truth of the world that we live in and how we're going to survive in it. And that's my open. Tell me what you think on my Facebook page or Twitter. Hashtag Judge Janine. And with me now, po my political panel, to react to my open and all of the latest breaking news, uh, Donald Trump surrogate, Republican strategist Boris Epstein, and Democratic strategist Sasha Burns. All right, guys, let's talk about um, the convention. Hillary Clinton uh, clearly had a very Hollywood orchestrated convention. Donald Trump had more of the ordinary people. Would you agree? Probably had two soap opera stars and Scott Baio. So um, I don't know that I would call that normal. I would call it he couldn't get anybody except for his family and someone who works for him. He couldn't get Jeb Bush. He couldn't get George Bush. He couldn't get George H. W. Bush. He couldn't get John McCain. He couldn't get John Kasich. So was it Let normal me ask people? You a question. It was because Let me ask Republicans you a Let don't want to be near him. Uh, isn't the fact that Donald Trump? like Bernie Sanders is an outsider and that Hillary Clinton is the ultimate insider establishment. You know what I'd go That's with? That's a yes or no question. Sane and competent. That's what Bloomberg said. Okay, you don't have great. to agree with okay, her. Go ahead, Sane anyway, and competent. So we can also about Al Gore wasn't in the Democrat mind. Here's the bottom line. Seventy percent of people in this country feel the country's going the wrong direction. They feel seventy two percent. They feel so it's actually between seventy and eighty. Certain polls have it as high as seventy nine. They feel the country's going in the wrong direction. They feel that establishment, the Democrat establishment, Barack Obama, Biden, Hillary Clinton. Bill Clinton have taken us in the wrong direction, and Donald Trump represents that voice. Of course, the Democrats are going to cry and say, well, you know, somehow it was negative. It wasn't negative. As you said, it was realistic. I was at both conventions. Our convention, the Republican convention, was realistic. It was the voice of the people. The Democrat convention, well, by let, me, let me ask you this. Before we waste time, the voice of the people, of, uh, you know, it, the truth is that that the Democratic convention was more star-studded. I don't, I don't think there's any question about that. But, you know, when you say that Donald had his children, Children, I think they are his strongest weapon. Sure, absolutely. Well, then let's and elect one of them listen, for president, the not Donald listen, Trump. The Democrats live because in a bubble. They seem the Democrats slightly live in a bubble. More sane than he the does. The Democrats live in a bubble. Think... And that's why they have these Hollywood stars who don't know let what's me, going on in the me, real world. Sasha, about... did you even hear Donald Trump's uh, oh, uh, his presentation at the convention? Of course I did. He thinks America is a hellhole. He thinks that our military is terrible. Did Donald See, Trump say I it was a hellhole? I don't think that, yes. Watch your yes. Did he say it was a hellhole? A hellhole. No, no, yes, he has. Then you're incorrect. America so, okay, is a hellhole. You're, hell you're incorrect. So, he, did not, he didn't say that. You that mischaracterized what he said. That, that is what he talks about. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stop. Your, your statement to our producer said you hadn't seen Trump's speech. No, I didn't. I, of course, watched Trump's speech. That's somebody else. That's not, but, but, and you didn't say, but I'm sure it was idiotic? That was the press conference the next day. Okay, but that, that wasn't but a speech. You hadn't seen Trump's speech, but you did see his speech. Yes, I okay. did. Okay, all right. So you saw Trump's speech, and you think that this is a man who is not painting a picture of America that's accurate. Here's what America is accurate. American exceptionalism. We're the greatest country in the world. Okay. Our military Again, is the greatest country the in the world. The we don't need some whiny little man-child to rule us. Oh, so the, we don't the, need him. It again. is like, about... The Democrats are so sad, and they go with personal oh, insults yeah, against Donald Hillary's Trump. Oh, yeah, because Hillary's never insulted let, by let, you let, guys. No, let, 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 so let me finish, okay? Let's look at the facts. 62 million people in this country between the age of 16 and 64 are unemployed. The GDP growth last quarter, 1.2%, anemic. The previous quarter revised to a 0 0.8. Okay, the Democrats right. have failed. What they don't get another shot. What about the fact that Hillary Clinton, in her presentation to the convention, talked to, us, talked to us how she was going to defeat ISIS and basically repeated everything that Obama's been doing? What's, what's so great about Complete Hillary failure. Clinton? Complete failure. Complete failure. What do you think Trump is going to do? No, no, I know that's what I want. What do you know what? No, 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 no. Do? This is what Hillary Clinton did for the whole convention. All she did was talk about Donald Trump and how bad he is. But here's the thing: she's going to she's going to do the same thing that Obama did. What? She's going to increase, add more money to no shovel ready jobs, and she talked about doing the same strategy against ISIS. ISIS was born well, on her watch. ISIS well, was you know born what? on Iraq Hillary Clinton's watch. Iraq happened on oh, Bush's gonna, watch, and 9/11 happened on Bush's watch. Oh, according to oh, that. Nominee. That's pretty rich. So, yeah, does it what, take a while to defeat ISIS? So yes, close. it will. You've had eight Excuse years me. and you feel you're going to get another shot. Why are they so close in terms of the numbers? You know, the uh, real clear politics, 43-3 versus 43-7. So, yeah. I guess... 
Because it's the, not, the country's not, sick of the Clintons, the, that's why. The country has always been divided. I do want no, to talk about... No, the country about, has no, never been as divided as it is today. Since, since that's when, what created the, the, the outsider since, uh, drive. Since when have we had an ele a presidential that wasn't just about 50-50? But let me talk about right track, wrong track, because that's an interesting one. That question has been asked for 45 years. There have been three times that it's ever been above 50%. Right, now it's okay, 70%. All right, that's right. Let me ask now it's question. 70%. The now, country's in a much worse place than eight years ago. You, you know it. Do you really it. feel that this woman can protect you when ISIS grew under her watch? Absolutely. Why? Absolutely, I do. Because she's competent and experienced. She's never what shown she that ability to protect you. Really Stop. Stop. What has she done as senator from New York? Senator from New York has nothing to do with defending us against ISIS. Whoa, We're whoa, talking whoa, about the whoa, President whoa, whoa, whoa. of the United Answer States. Answer my question. She worked. Answer my she question. She worked with members of the Senate on both sides of the aisle. Oh, that's great. What did she pass? She passed. What did she, what she, bills did she sponsor that were passed? Somebody she passed. You don't know. Educa I do know. What are Education. they? That Health insurance. insurance. Look, there are three bills that she sponsored that were passed. One's renaming a road, the other's renaming a post office, and the other was a resolution where we, no, we congratulate her. While she was Secretary of State, State ISIS right. came into Forrest being. Forrest Epstein and Sasha Burns, thanks for being with us. Thank, Thank you. Judge. All right, and another huge issue front and center for Americans voting in November, the economy. And which presidential candidate's plan will help your family the most? With me now is Donald Trump economic advisor, Steve Moore. All right, Steve, I understand that uh, you, in fact, were with the candidate today. Is that correct? Well, we, the, the meeting was uh, suspended because he was coming up uh, back from Colorado Springs and didn't get back in time. So we'll be meeting in the next few days. But, but uh, you know, I have been working with uh, Donald Trump for the last uh, couple of months, and we are going to put forward this week, Judge, uh, 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 either this week or early next week, uh, a very pro-growth economic platform. And All right, let you, me By ask the you, way, Steve. you really nailed it when you said, when you look at Hillary's program, and, and you said this so well, um, there is nothing new. <laughs> In other words, what she proposed was raise the minimum wage, raise taxes on rich people, more shovel-ready projects. We've done that for eight years. It hasn't worked. What we're going to be talking about is a really dynamic new program to get America back to work again. All right, I want to ask you about some of the things that were said at the convention yeah. by her. Um, she says that anyone willing to work in America should be able to find a job to get ahead. How is that going to happen when, for the last eight years, that, that hasn't been the case? What will she do differently? Well, that's the whole point. Nothing. I mean, I didn't, I don't know about you, Judge, I didn't hear one new idea in that entire speech. Give more things away for free, raise the minimum wage, and so on. You know, what's really interesting is business, if you listen to that speech, there was very much an anti-rich people, anti-business, anti-employer theme to that speech. And the problem with liberalism, you can't have more jobs if you don't have employers and if you don't have businesses. Okay. This idea of bashing our businesses to create jobs, how does that, how does that add up? Well, yeah, and you know what, I can't believe she's part of that 1%, but that's another <laughs> oh, subject. That's true. She said the economy isn't working because democracy isn't working. What did that mean? I, I wish I knew what, what that meant, but it is true the economy isn't working. I mean, my goodness, we've had, just look at the Wall Street Journal um, front page today, Judge, worst economic recovery since the 1930s, since the Great Depression. That wasn't the editorial page, that was the news page. I mean, we've gotten more and more bad news. I actually think right now, Judge, that the, we're not in a recession. But the businesses in America are in a recession. The only thing that's keeping the economy afloat right now is the consumer. And as their wages stagnate, how okay. much longer quickly, can consumers quickly, do this? Because we're up against a break. Yeah. What is Donald Trump going to do that can change okay. things? We're going to do three things right out of the gate. Number one, we're going to reform the tax system. Biggest tax cut since Ronald Reagan. We're going to cut the business tax rate to the lowest rate in the world so those businesses come back. Number two, we're going to have a pro-America energy policy to produce our, uh, our oil, our gas and coal. We have more oil and gas and coal than any other country in the world we should be using it. Hillary's against that. Number three, we're going to repeal Obamacare, and we're going to put in place something that is pro-consumer, reduce costs. Because I don't know about you, Judge, but I am not saving $2,500 a year on my health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Moore, thanks so much for being with okay. us. Okay, thanks. All right. And want to know about Hillary's America? We've got the guy who wrote the book and did the